Hey, what's up everyone? Passive Bonner here. We are now in the second game for today. Um, this will be the battle between the New Orleans Pelicans and Cleveland Cavaliers. That will happen at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 8.30 a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Bonner. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Both of these teams, by the way, New Orleans and Cleveland, they carry with them the same record, 16 wins and 12 losses. As we all know, we actually provide free picks right here in our YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. But for those who would want to avail our premium picks, you can actually reach us through Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, or even Messenger. Just check on the descriptions of our videos and you can see the details right there. Spread, by the way, that is given is minus 1.5. That's given towards New Orleans Pelicans. All right, so Cleveland Cavaliers, they will uh, be enjoying the home court advantage on this. Um, in terms of momentum, we also got to give it to Cleveland Cavaliers because approaching this game, man, they are on the three-game winning streak. While for, um, <clears throat> while for their opponent, New Orleans Pelicans, they are coming off a loss. But... Again, New Orleans Pelicans, they are performing well lately. Uh, for their last 10 games, they have won 7. While for <clears throat> sorry, for Cleveland, they have won 6. But again, we're talking about momentum. So, 3-game winning streak is something huge for any team in any kind of sport. So, again, advantage should be given to Cleveland. In terms of fatigue, though, we got to give it to New Orleans Pelicans because uh, the Cavs actually went up and played against Utah Jazz last night. And they actually won by eight points. While you know, while they were doing that, New Orleans Pelicans they were having their rest day. So let's take a look at the availability of the players and the health of both teams. All right, Cleveland Cavaliers. We got Darius Garland, Evan Mobley, Ty Jerome, and Ricky Rubio all confirmed out for this. While we have Donovan Mitchell is still listed as um, game time decision. Um, Donovan Mitchell was not able to play. Uh, on their last night's game against Utah Jazz, and then that's actually a great, you know, a great work by Cleveland Cavaliers still coming up with a win despite of the absence of their superstar. Now for New Orleans Pelicans, wow, this is quite the list. Matt Tryon and Larry Nance Jr. are both confirmed out. While we have four players. All listed as questionable for New Orleans. I'm talking about Zion Williamson, Herbert Jones, um, jo uh, Jonas Valanciunas, and Cody Zeller. All listed as questionable, and this is due to some illness. Um, <clears throat> a lot of flu, I don't know if it's COVID-related, but a lot of flu are you know, uh, going around again. Um, as you can see, I'm actually even having some runny nose. Uh, so just wish everyone to you know to take care of themselves, especially those uh, those kids and you know all, all those uh, senior citizens that we have. You know uh, they're the ones who are most prone to those kind of shit. So let's take care of them. Anyway, again, two players confirmed out for New Orleans. That there are four players um, listed as questionable for New Orleans Pelicans. I don't know which side to pick or which team to pick in terms of health and availability because both, uh, you know, both teams are just showing almost the same number of uh, almost the same number of players listed in IL. But since uh, New Orleans Pelicans only got, only got a couple who are already confirmed, meaning the other four are still listed as game time decision, meaning there 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 is still this possibility that Zion will be playing or that you know. Uh, Jones will be playing or Jonas. I'm gonna still side with New Orleans Pelicans and give them a slight advantage in terms of health and availability. Now, for I don't know, but I think this one's gonna be the hardest, uh, you know, to predict out of all the games that we have for today. And this is uh, due to the fact that we don't know if Donovan Mitchell will play. That's for Cleveland. And for New Orleans Pelicans, we don't know if yeah, Zion will play. We don't know if Jonas will play. But considering all those factors that we have just discussed earlier, I'm gonna side with Cleveland Cavaliers. I'm looking at you know I'm looking at the the possibilities right here. Um, Donovan Mitchell uh, he already rested uh, last night's game, so 
I don't know, but there's a possibility for me. There's just a higher possibility possibility that he will be suiting up uh, uh, for today. And he will be playing. Um, also, I know that um, this is the second game for Cleveland on second, you know, on two nights. But they they actually stayed at home. So yes, they are they are the quote unquote more tired team. Yes, but you know it's not that much because again they they are staying home. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with my dice with Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, so long as they would have Donovan Mitchell back, I feel like Cleveland Cavaliers would have enough to actually notch that win. Again, the spread that is given, it's a uh, minus 1.5 towards Cle- towards New Orleans. So I'll go ahead and take that plus 1.5 for Cleveland Cavaliers as some sort of a safety net. Again, our pick would be Cleveland Cavaliers plus 1.5. Peace out. Pase love and God bless.